Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin to create a slider in a WordPress website. The name of the plugin is Meta Slider. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. However, in this video, I'm going to use only the free version of this plugin. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 600,000 WordPress websites. Let me show you some sample sliders that I have created using this free plugin. So this is the first slider. This is simple image slider. Here you will see some arrows and the navigation dots. And this is the second example in which I have created a carouser. Here you will see again arrows and the navigation dots. These dots have numbers. Then we have carousal with caption. You will see an image with captions. So you can add the images on the captions and use it in a carousal. So in the free version, you can create three different types of slider, image slider, carousal and carousal with captions. In previous videos, I have shown you how to create sliders using different plugins. For example, slider revolution plugin. This is a premium plugin. It does not have any free version. Master slider plugin. I have shown you how to create slider using master slider. I have shown you how to create a slider using Smart Slider 3 plugin. This plugin also has free as well as premium version and how to create a slider using a Depictor Slider plugin. This plugin also has free and premium version. If you want to watch these videos, I'll give you links in the description box. Among all these free slider plugins, I really like to work with Depictor Slider plugin. This plugin has many free templates that you can use to create a professional slider. You can consider using this plugin depictor. Now in this video, we are going to work on meta slider. This plugin also has different themes that you can use to create a slider. So let's see how we can create a slider using the free meta slider plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And now I'm going to install a free plugin to create a slider in the WordPress website. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for meta slider. And this is the plugin that we are going to install slider gallery and carousal by meta slider. I have already installed this plugin. So you will see that it is already active. So when you install this plugin in the left hand side, you will see this option meta slider. Go to settings. First, we will go through the basic settings of this slider. The default slideshow title will be new slideshow. Then this is the base image width and the base image height. 100% width will be the by default. Then we have some help improve and then we have some other settings. But I don't think you need to go through these settings. These are pretty basic settings and there is nothing much about these settings. And we can later change the settings on the actual slider also. So let's go to home. And you will see that currently there is no slider. Now to create a slider, we will use this option quick start click on it using this quick start option you will be able to use themes and layouts to create a slider so there are two options create a slideshow with your images or create a slideshow with sample images and here you will see a drop down option blank slideshow image slideshow carousal slideshow and carousal slideshow with captions so we will start with the image slideshow and click on create a slideshow now it is going to import some dummy images that you can later replace. Here you will see different slides are added. Image slide one, two, three, four slides are added. So this is the image. If you want to replace it, you can simply click on it and you can add your own image there. So I'm going to select this one. And you will see the image is replaced. Here you will see another tab that is SEO for this particular image. This is the image title. If you want to change it, you can change the image title. You just need to disable it. And from here, you can add your own title for the image. And below that, we have image alt text. This is again for the SEO purpose. If you want to add alt text for this particular image, you can add your own alt text here. Then we have mobile. If you want to hide this image on different devices, you will see this option here. Hide slide on mobile, tablet. Then we have 
hide caption on mobile tablet and desktop so if you want to hide the caption on these devices you can simply select this one and the caption will not be shown on the mobile device for this particular image then we have crop so this is the crop option center 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 left center right so according to your image you can select the crop option i'm going to select center center and this is the schedule option in order to use the schedule option you will need to go for the meta slider pro plugin let's go back to general so this is about the first slide if you want to link this image with any url you can add the url here so if someone clicks on the image it will go to that particular url so let's enable it and add the url here for example google.com so it will go to google.com and this is the caption if you want to add caption you can add the caption manual entry so you can add the manual entry all right so this is the caption this is image one so i have selected manual entry here and you can customize the text you can make it bold italic or you can change the color also you can link the text with any third party link all right so this is about the caption then we have second image here if you want to replace it again you can replace this image and add your own image here let's try this one now if you do not want four images you can delete the image and it will show only three images there or if you want to add image you can simply duplicate this image and you will get another option to add the image from where you can change the image so again for the second image also you can make changes you can add seo title or or text then you can hide it on mobile device or crop the image same for the third image all right so once you are done with the adding images you can go to the right side option here here you will see main options this is the width and the height of the slider and this is the transition effect right now it is set to fade i'm going to change it to slide it will show arrows and we have navigation hidden instead of that we are going to use dots so at the bottom it will show the dots for the navigation and the width will be 100 percent these are the main options and we have some themes here we will go through the themes later then we have hide arrows on mobile devices or hide navigation on these screen options i want to hide the navigation on mobile devices so i can click on the mobile device here and it will hide the navigation on the mobile device below that we have advanced options and the first option is center align so it is going to center align the entire slider then we have autoplay it will start the slider automatically then we have loop it should be a loop or you can stop it on the last slide or the first slide then we have image crop will be smart crop you can keep it on smart crop carousal mode if you want to enable carousal mode you can enable it in the next example i'll show you the carousal slider also carousal margin, a random hover on pause, reverse, keyboard controls, touch swipe. So these are the basic settings of the slider. You can go through the settings. These are pretty simple settings. This is the slide delay, the transition speed. If you want to add any CSS class, you can add the CSS class. And below that we have the short code that you can use to show this slider on any page of your website. All right, now if you want to see how does this look, you can click on preview and it will show you the preview of your slider. So this is how it is going to look. We have an arrow here and this is the navigation dots. All right, let's close it. Now here you'll see the option select a theme. Before selecting a theme, I'm going to save it and I'll show you how the default one looks. And let's copy the short code. Okay, now let's go to the pages and I'm going to add this slider on one of the pages here. I have one sample page here and I'm using Elementor page builder on this website. If you have any other third party page builder, you can use that page builder to show the slider on the page. You just need to look for the short code widget on your page builder and add the short code there. So here I'm going to add a new section and I'll look for short code. Let's drag it and drop it here. Now if you are using default Gutenberg, you can look for the short code in the Gutenberg and here I'm going to add the short code and let's update it now let's view the page and this is how the slider will look here we have the arrows and these are the navigation dots 
so it is currently not a full width so what i can do i can increase the width of this particular section and let's make it full width so select the section let's make it full width no gap and update it let's go back to the page and refresh it now you will see the full width slider here the arrows and the navigation is there you will see this caption that we added here this is image one so similarly you can add the captions on other images also now let's go back to the slider here and let's try another theme here if you go to option here theme you can select a theme and these are the theme options available so let's try this one select this one and click select it says theme saved let's save it let's go back and refresh it and you will see new theme is there you will see the numbers here one two three and these are the arrows so you can use different pre-designed themes to show the slider let's go back and try another theme change it and let's try let's try this one select it and save it let's refresh it and you'll see new theme is added these are the navigation dots not the dots but this is a different navigation and we have arrows here all right so this is how you can change the theme now let's go back go to meta slider go to home and you will see this first slider here now let's add another go to quick start again and from the drop down select carousal slideshow and click on create new slideshow now it is going to import the demo images for the carousal let's change the name here carousal one so from here you can change the name of the slider so that you can identify which slider it is and these are the demo images you can change the image let's delete this one i want only three images and let's change this image let's try this one all right so we have three different images again you can change the seo settings mobile and crop settings and in the right hand side you will see main options width is now 1200 by 600 and the effect is slide then we have arrows if you want to show the arrows you can show the arrows otherwise you can disable it i'm going to enable it navigation is dots and we have not selected any theme here and these are the basic settings of the carousal central line autoplay smart crop continuous all these settings are there developer option is there and this is the short code let's copy this one and before that save the slider go back to the sample page and i'm going to add another section here let's add a title here and let's name it as carousal so this is going to be carousal and below that again look for short code drag it and drop it here and enter the short code this is for the second carousal update it Let's go back to the page and refresh it. So this is the first slider and this is the second slider. You will see a carousal option here, a slide. This is the first slide, second slide. Now let's go to theme and change the theme here. So again, you will see similar options for the theme. Let's select this one, save it. Let's refresh it and this is the new theme here you will see the arrows and the navigation dots here these dots have numbers all right let's go back so this is the second slider now let's go to quick start and let's add another slider let's use carousal slideshow with captions click on create a new slideshow all right so we have got some images here one two three four images let's add another image let's duplicate it and change the image let's use this one let's duplicate it i'm going to add more images right here you can add manual entry for the caption or you can disable the caption also now here we are creating a carousal with caption so you need to add a caption here and if you want you can add the url in the right hand side you will see the options again the width will be 400 by 400 it is going to be like a square image 
again we have slide i'm going to change it to fade and let's see how does this look again we have arrows or dots and this is the theme used so leave it as it is click on save and this is the short codes copy the short code let's go back to sample page and i'm going to add new section here let's add title let's look for short code drag it and drop it here add the short code and update it let's go back refresh it all right so this is the carousal with caption so this is how it is going to look this is a 400 by 400 square kind of image and we have carousal with caption here so these are the captions you can edit the captions and you can add your own captions there so this one also looks good so in the free version you have three different options to create slider in a wordpress website this plugin also has a premium version and using premium version you can create different types of sliders image slides video slides layer slides product slides post feed slide html slides and carousal slides and here is the pricing of this plugin for a single website it will cost you 39 dollars and 50 cents per year and you will see all the features here and for five websites it will cost you 49 dollars and 50 cents per year and for unlimited websites it will cost you 99 dollars and 50 cents and if you want to create a simple slider you can go with the free version of the meta slider so this is how you can create a slider in a wordpress website using the free meta slider plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips